take a look around. The round table hold is burned, raised to the ground. Don't worry, I don't blame you. I'll continue spirit tuning just the same as before, which is why I need your help persuading Master Hugh to leave. His roots are so knotted in this place. He won't last much longer if he stays here. His shackles are broken. He's a free man now. It's high time he put the round table behind him. I knew you'd be back. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Weren't you listening? As I've always said, you came to challenge the demigods and their god. To slay them. And as long as you do, I will always smith your weapons. It is what I wish. To smith a weapon for you to slay a god. I see. You're here for some... Oh, is that right? So Master Hugh won't listen to you either. You have my thanks regardless. I'll try and talk him round next time. I know he was given this great entreaty to craft a weapon which could slay a god. Though I can't help but think of it as a curse. A fearsome curse. Put on him by Queen Marika. And if that's the case... I'm not sure there's anything we can do. Lay out your arms. I've upset the girl. She says that now my chains are broken, I'm free. That if I stay here, I will be ruined with the round table. <laughs> Or you survive for freedom now. I smith weapons to slay a god. I have lived and will die doing so upon this spot. Is there any other way? Uh. 